It's time to talk all about the latest in K-pop that will make you an insider in the K-pop scene as well. We're joined with the lovely Kim Miso Anni. Welcome oh, back. Thank you. We missed you. I missed you more. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. I'm so sad that we I can't see your pretty face today because yeah, we're wearing our masks. Yeah, I know. But... Like we're wearing masks. Like she's she's sick and I'm sick. Like everyone is sick. Oh, we are all sick. Because oh, no, no. yeah, because like a cold these days getting like you know, mm-hmm. all the, like people catching cold a lot because the weather. Like, it got really cold got all of a sudden. Really, really cold here in Korea. So, please, guys, be careful. Wear warm, like, clothes and don't eat cold stuff. Yes, take care of yourselves. <laughs> yeah, Make take sure care you're of staying your body, warm. okay? Please. Don't be us. <laughs> don't be don't like be, us. Yeah, don't be like us. Because, um, yeah. Do you remember your first winter in Korea? Is it, do you oh get winters my in Morocco? God. Or how does like, it work? Actually, people think that Morocco, because it's in Africa, like, we have no winter at all. But still, we have some cities that we get, like, um, snow snow, mm-hmm. snow and everything. But in my city, Casablanca, like, well, it's not really that cold in winter. Like, I think it, uh, it goes down to, like, 5 degrees mm-hmm. from, I think, yeah. 6 degrees. I'm not sure. But still, for us, it's That's like, pretty cold. cold. So I love the cold winter, the weather, I'm sorry. I, I love the cold weather. So I was like, oh, my God, I need to go to a cold country like mm-hmm. to live there because I love to wear like you know that kind of warm clothes. Yeah, me too. So I came here to Korea my first time visiting Korea like as a travel traveler. Mm-hmm. It was in 2015. Mm-hmm. And it was no no, it was in 2016. It was in my birthday. Mm-hmm. So uh, I arrived and one of my friends said, "Hey, you need to wear warm clothes because once you will arrive, it will it's gonna be the coldest day ever." Yeah, the coldest so, day. Yeah, so I was like, "Well, how how much gonna be cold? Like, yeah, how cold could it yeah, be, right? Why? Like, what are you saying?" And he was like, "Okay, I told you." So when I arrived, I was like wearing just like this, you know, mm-hmm. so like a I, light sweater or something. Just like open the door to to go to ride the bus, and I was like, "Oh my god, let's go outside again." Yeah, I'm not going there. It's so like I. Cold. It just hit my knees. Like yeah. it just hit me in here. I was like, oh my goodness. It's super like a bitter cold. Yes. Oh my goodness. So, like in Korea, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, the the winter, the winter, it's when they it's say hard. it gets cold in Korea, it gets really cold. It's got really, really cold. So yeah. it got really randomly chilly over here recently. So a lot of people have been getting sick or things like that. Us, we've been getting sick, so like, yeah. things like that. But yeah, it makes sense though. But I think when you were living um, in Texas, like in Texas, Houston, mm-hmm. like it's not that we do not, we do not get. Like so not even I cold. love, I love cold weather too. Yeah. So but, I really, w- I, I'm the same as you. So I yeah. wanted, whenever I moved to Korea, it was my first time seeing snow actually. Snow, I know you told me that. But whenever I lived in Texas, it we would swim on Christmas Day. Like it was that <laughs> hot. Like it, yeah. the weather wouldn't really. We don't have like winter, spring, summer, fall. It was yeah. pretty hot overall it, over the year. Yeah. So we didn't really have that kind of differentiation. But um, it it was fun though. I mean, who wants to? Yeah. Is everyone wants to swim on Christmas? I think yeah, it's super of fun. Of course. <laughs> Alrighty. So let's get started on the show. So please introduce it for our listeners, if you don't mind. Yeah, guys. So today is third day segment, as you know, in Taonese. It's a time to talk about everything about the K-pop that we had love. We talk about the keywords for K-pop scene, K-pop artist, and questions about the K-pop scene that you have. Please come join us and participate a lot today. And don't mind our voices. Yes, please don't mind our voices. <laughs> don't so the, mind our voices. So the topic that we're going to be talking about in the first part today is... <laughs> solo artists, artists in, in the K-pop, K-pop world. world. Yeah. So solo artists have the advantage of being able to show their abilities to the fullest, but there's a burden of filling the stage alone, unlike being in a group. So today we're going to be talking about solo artists who are active in the K-pop scene. That's right. Like Group activities are cool, but there are many artists who make the fans fall in love again by showing new charms through the solo activities who is your favorite solo artist these days mine i think i have to say i fell back in love with chang i think she's oh, one okay. of my favorite her and Sunmi mi are mm-hmm. two of my favorite um female solo artists okay and i think that they're so strong in stage presence and it's super impressive to see them be able to carry a whole stage like that by themselves mm-hmm. and i love Sunmi's mi's very distinct um charisma and her concepts mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so i think that's really fun interesting what about you well i love hyuna mm-hmm. i love really i love hyuna i love how 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 like 
her songs and choreography is like are are on a point you know mm -hmm. what i mean and the way like she acts with her face mm -hmm. and when you know her in reality like she's a sweet person mm -hmm. she's a candy mm -hmm. a whole candy mm -hmm. bar anyway like i love her i just love her i think and, and of course j-hope yeah i was about to say <laughs> and also there's news of your favorite bts members solo debut which must be really exciting for you yeah like oh these these, mem these members now are getting their own solo yes. solo album like everyone like getting their their new like uh great uh like um artist uh like solo artist activities like j-hope he made he was the first one who debuted it mm -hmm. as a solo first artist i love the album it was new I didn't imagine that he gonna do that kind of like, I think it's a metal, mm -hmm. metal mm -hmm. stuff. I'm mm -hmm. not sure, but yeah, but I loved it. And Jean also, as I expected, the sweetest, the beautiful voice, mm -hmm. worldwide handsome guy. Yes. Oh, <laughs> a thumbs up for me, Zohan. <laughs> All right, okay. that's amazing though. So let's look at the papers we prepared and talk about which solo artists yes. have been active in the K-pop scene these days. Okay, so we have... We will talk about Lee Hyori. Mm -hmm. like, she debuted in the 1998, 1998. girl group Finkel or Pinker, Pinker. And, and they debuted in 2003. And she did. They debuted in 1998, and then she debuted as a soloist in 2003. But she has some of the most iconic songs in K-pop, yeah. and is kind of deemed as one of the like first runners in K-pop in general mm. overall, being able to carry the presence in terms of being in a group and then also being a soloist as well so can you tell us some of the songs that she's done that have been so well, iconic she had like the 10 minutes mm -hmm. and after that you go girl and chitty chitty bang bang bad girls and black do the dance okay. yes oh i said do the dance. yes do you wanna um do you know the <laughs> i said do the dance uh, do you know any of her um are these uh, do you know any of these songs like personally do you have a favorite from um, these songs because mine is probably you go girl uh i think 10 minutes 10 minutes just yeah. one 10 minutes yeah i think 10 minutes i'm gonna yeah i'm gonna go for 10 minutes but i don't know the whole thing though yeah i know yeah, because i'm not I'm getting old. I don't listen to. <laughs> I I I don't listen to any songs these days. Even the old songs. Like I'm getting old. Mm -hmm. Is that normal? <laughs> yeah. No, I do that too. I was talking about that earlier with K-pop, mm -hmm. where I'm like, I don't keep up as much these days. Yeah. Because there's so much coming out. Yeah, so much coming up, and I don't listen to songs now these days because I've had a lot of things in my mind, mm -hmm. and sometimes like. I just can't focus on the song. I need to focus on the song. You yeah, know it I mean? makes it makes it very difficult yeah, sometimes. Yeah, I know. So we have Ihyori, and next we have Jessie, yeah. who debuted in 2005. Yes. She's had some hits like, like Nunu Nana, Otan, What mm, Type of X, Cold Blooded, Zoom. She's in. been completely just taking over the K-pop scene with her low rap beat, raspy rap voice. I love, and I love. so many. She's not only a great rapper, but also a great singer yeah. as well. Nigga. Which, exactly. I don't think people realize or understand like how much she's just so talented overall. I know, yeah. So she's been taking over, and all of these songs blew up on TikTok too. It so. is, it is like like it. She, she's getting hot. She's yeah, getting good. Definitely like, got her. She was good, and she's getting uh, like now people they notice her work. The recognition. I mm. know, like, huh? I love that. Mm -hmm. good. And I think that's so good. We love Jesse. <laughs> I love Jesse. And then we have next, we have Hyona, which what I said. we love. Yeah, like she debuted in 2007 group with uh, Wonder, Wonder Girls. Girls. And after that, in 2010, she debuted as a solo artist. And she did a lot of good songs. She did a lot of great songs. Bubble, 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 pop, bubble, bubble, pop, 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 pop. I think people will know her most for Bubble Pop. I know, um, yeah. Palgeo or Red. Palge. Yeah, the Palge, Palge, it was mm. a very, very strong one with a very strong character. It was and, crazy, know, yeah. I was so... Tana mm -hmm. um, or Roll Deep, which is one of my favorite songs by her. Oh, okay. Lip and Hip, I'm Not oh, Cool. Lip and Hip, which was cool. I'm Not Cool. I love I'm Not Cool. Oh my I God. know. Nabilera also is good. Nabilera yes, is cool. She's is got good. so many songs and she's been in the K-pop scene for so long, but she still is just one of the most relevant solo yeah. artists to carry through in the I females know. in the industry. I know. Next we have Sunmi, who debuted in 2007 also in Wonder Girls yes. and she started doing solo stuff starting 2013 
but her songs that she exactly. Oh, so, oh, so we have it's okay. So we have twenty four. Um, 이십사 시간이 모자라 or twenty four hours, which is one, which was her debut song. 보름달, which is full moon. I love that song. Then she came back on her own with Kajina, yeah. 주인공, or heroine, Siren, 보라빛밤, and 열이 올라요, Heartburn, yeah. which she came out with this summer. I think she's been so impressive for me in terms of her concepts and how she consistently can go and show us different sides of her. Yeah, yeah. I think, yeah, I love that too. Yeah, and after that, we're going to the next one that mm-hmm. you love. I do love and her. And you admit it last time. I Taeyeon. do. I love Taeyeon. I love me, my Taeyeon. Girls' Generation girlies. <laughs> she debuted 2007 in Girls' Generation as Hwanyu Shide. And then in 2015, she began doing her solo th- so, so solo career so she started with I, I as her debut song which yes. was so good she looks so gorgeous in that music video I look won't how get excited over it. she is now <laughs> I won't get over it ever it's mm-hmm. so good rain why why fine fine is such an I iconic love song we I love have it in song. my list me too I listen to it every day I listened to it again recently too and it's just the song never it's timeless it's I know always I know, so good I know what you mean and then Four she seasons. Came um, Spark, What Do I Call You, I Envy You, which is her most recent one. And that was crazy. I remember when it first came out, I watched the music video and I was like, this woman is crazy for this. Because apparently, originally, they didn't, they weren't really sure about the song and they didn't know if it could be a title, but she yeah. fought for it and yes. said that she wanted it to be the title and it went so well. Oh, we ha- like a lot of our fans like saying, "Hey, how about the legendary IU?" Well, the next what one is, is the IU, legendary the legendary IU. IU, and she debuted in two thousand eight with mm-hmm. a lot of good songs. I love her songs. I love her too. Me too. We have Chuna, Good Day, yes. of course. Oh, Dorana, you, you and, and I. I. Blooming Eight, Lilac, Strawberry Moon. I actually, a lot of my personal favorite song by IU is 23. And I can't wait for next year because I'll be 23 in Korean <laughs> age. So I can finally sing that song. Oh, Jazunna, she's going to be 23. I'm going to be 29. Oh, <laughs> no. oh she's she going to be 23. Oh, my God. I'm going to be 29. Jazunna, you still don't look a day over 23. Don't worry. <laughs> Do you have a favorite IU song? I love eight. I love eight because it's a kind of a meaning song to mm-hmm. me because a lot of things happened when she released that that song mm-hmm. and I and I know why she released it exactly like, because it's the very meaning, meaning uh, like song and I, also I love Chunna Good Day mm-hmm. I love it too we love it. it's so iconic and also I do love Blooming like Blooming it's like, a cute song it's a, it's yeah it's a kind of cute song though. Yeah, she actually has the most streams out of all artists yeah. in Korea, which is crazy. And next, I think we have a couple more artists that we like to share and talk about. Yeah. So we have... We have Hasa. Yes. yes. Well, my girl, actually Hasa, like, debuted in 2014 with the group Mama Moo. Mm-hmm. Ma, 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 Moo. Oh. oh, so yeah. Oh, so and after that, she debuted in 2019 as a solo artist, mm-hmm. and she had really, uh, really good songs and a good style. She did, she did. She has her own definite style, and yes. she definitely sticks to her color and does a great job at expressing it with songs yeah. like Mong Chong Yi. Mong Chong Yi was good. Maria, Maria, Maria. Oh, Maria, Maria, Maria. Even when she's catching cold, her voice is so good. <laughs> no. If and you hear me like singing when I'm catching cold, it's like a song. It's like a dog singing. Not a dog. <laughs> well, your dog is very cute, so don't worry. <laughs> and then we have I'm a bee, I'm a bee, or like so many other yes. songs by Hwasa as yeah. well. Um, next, we have one of my favorite also. I find them like, I find her to be one of like the most strongest performers in terms of people out there right now, which is Chonga. So she debuted in 2016 with IOI and then debuted in 2017 as a solo artist. And she is one of my favorite performers in K-pop. And I feel that she's such a strong, not only vocalist, but also mm, dancer, yes, which yes. makes her performances always so know, fun to yeah, watch. She's good. She's good. I love her stuff. Like, why don't you know with her debut song? Roller Coaster was so fun and cute. And then she really broke out with Parts of Her So Yor or yeah. Gotta Go. And then from there, she's really gotten her snapping. snapping. Yeah. She's got her own color and definitely has defined herself in the K-pop industry as well. So I really appreciate and I think that she's really an amazing 
amazing artist and of talent. Course. Actually, we have a lot of artists, and one of the artists, like also, we have Ailey. We have a lot of artists, but mm -hmm. we hope that we're gonna talk about everything today. Yeah, and if it's not, we can talk about them like next, next week. Next mm -hmm. week. Anyway, we have another artist like Somi. Mm -hmm. Somi also she debuted in 2016 with IOI. Yes, and, and then... after that, like she debuted in 2019. Yeah. As a solo, solo and to... then she had birthday, dum dum dum, dum, dum and EXO, XO, XO. XO. Like, so many. We have songs. a lot of female artists. Literally, we have a lot of female artists to talk about. But now we are also going to take some time to show some love to the, the guys. Male. Yeah, yes. I love guys though. <laughs> <laughs> All <laughs> right, guys. so start off and tell us um, some artists that you love. Well, I know a lot of artists, like uh, solo artists that I know, like Kyuyun from mm -hmm. Super Junior, like who did, like who was in a group. Or like Timin from Shiny, but mm -hmm. we have a lot. I hope that we can talk about all, all of them. But now I'm gonna talk about Timin mm -hmm. because I think he's a, he was a very like debuted as a solo artist for a long time from 2014. But he de debuted in 2008 with the group Shiny, yes. and after that in 2014 as a solo artist. I see. Yeah. He has some really amazing songs like Credo or Danger, which is yes. one of my favorite songs oh. in k-pop ever oh. like it's so good and then of course pressure number move which move, was yeah iconic um <laughs> criminal idea criminal. advice he has so many amazing songs and he's such yeah. a great performer as well i much know, like I know. Or, and all of the shiny members like they it as a solo artist as well mm -hmm. and they are so good like i love these members I they love have, you guys. Each they have their own style. Yeah, and it's really interesting. Each one always has their own style. I know. It's always interesting to see a group and then see them come out as um, soloists and yes. do their um, solo activities and seeing the different sides of them that they have that are different whenever they're in a group, which I, I think know. is super fun. Yeah. Um, next we have a great friend and wonderful person, Mr. Eric Nam. He's oh, he's your friend? Yes, I love Eric. Wait a minute. Let's talk about this. Let's go out and okay. talk about this okay. a little bit. Because I love Eric Nam. He did. I do. love that guy. He's so sweet. And he went to Morocco. He did. And I saw him in Morocco, but I couldn't talk to him. Why not? Because I wasn't famous, though. Oh, no. And he, he was an artist for me, so I couldn't. Yeah. Like, I was so, like, anyway. But Eric's great. He debuted in 2011. He has his songs out, like, um, Can't Help yes, myself, 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 Hold Me, Hold me. Sochiki, Sochiki, Honestly, honestly. Run Away. And then also a lot from his new recent album, There and Back, which are some really great songs as well, like One Way Lover, um, I Don't Know You Anymore. He's a phenomenal artist, person, um, Opa, I guess whatever it is there is in there. So mm -hmm. Eric's mm -hmm. a really prominent um, person in terms of the K-pop community as well. It is. And after that, of course, we have Zai Hope. We talked yes, about that, like, cool. like uh, we talked about this, like Aka, like mm -hmm. uh, earlier. Mm -hmm. J Hope, like as you guys know, he debuted in 2013 with the group. Panchan Son Yon Dan. And after that, he debuted in 2015 as with a as a solo artist with his album Hope World. Mm -hmm. And I love it. You do. <laughs> I love it. And I also did some covers for his songs. Mm -hmm. I did the cover for Chicken Noodle Soup, though. Mm -hmm. Well, that was uh, that was amazing. Let It Rain. Mm -hmm. I, I, let Which it one? out. Like, what was that? Let it rain. I don't I let know. it out. Let it rain. I've actually never I listened to solo stuff before. Oh, really? So I'm going to after oh. this, after meeting you. I, love, I, must. I love the song Ego as well, too. Uh -huh. I love Ego. I love Chicken Eater Soup. I love Hope World. And I love Jack in a Box also. Oh. I'm in love with Jack in a Box. So he wrote all these. These Are they all about food? <laughs> they all seem like they're about food. Actually, Chicken Noodle Soup, it was like uh, an old, very old uh -huh. song, and he remake it mm -hmm. with uh, with uh, featuring with a girl. Mm -hmm. oh artist. My God. Wait, artist. What I don't know. Name? It's okay. We'll find out. Oh my God, I'm sorry, guys. I forgot the name. Anyway, so yeah, he fe featured it with her, and it was a very good song, mm -hmm. though. Yeah. Yeah, so he's a phenomenal artist as well, coming from a really popular group. And to and mention he, a few, uh huh? He even went to Lollapuza in Chicago. Like he had his own course. He did. Like, he was a main headliner as well. I'm so proud. Like I feel I'm a mom. I'm yes. so proud, mom, for you. No, wait a minute. I'm not his mom. I'm his wife. Uh, you are. <laughs> She said, okay. <laughs> um, some more notable ones that we have are G-Dragon, of course, from yes. Big Bang, debuted in 2006, Bang, Bang, Bang. and then um, started his solo activity starting 2009. His song, Heartbreaker, One of a Kind, Crayon, Yeah, Heartbreaker, I love that. Bittakage, Crooked, or Muje. 
um, there's or they're untitled. He has so many phenomenal songs, and he really is an artist where you、he、can't、is. help but admire him because、yes. of all the things that he does in terms of how. Forward, he is or up to jogging, he is with the music、mm-hmm. and how much that he really is a driving force in terms of K-pop. Whenever, especially、mm-hmm. whenever、um, Big Bang was really big and things like that. Yeah,、so、I know. And we have a lot of other artists, but like Jin, like of course、uh, BTS、Kihun, as well. And after that, we have Minu. So yeah, a lot of good artists like they're、uh, showing their amazing. Mm-hmm. Like solo activities, they are. I know. It was so much fun talking about this topic today and all those great solo artists. Let us know in the comments if you have any solo artists that you guys are want to talk about or want to or really like in the K-pop industry. So, listeners, if you have any questions about K-pop, please send us everything and we'll read them for you. Also, I'm curious about other things in the K-pop that you've experienced. So, click on the banner that says Radio and Us, and that'll take you to our homepage where you can leave your messages. So, this time we're gonna take some time to learn more about the artists that we. Love Misu and I are gonna read about a K-pop artist, so be sure to listen carefully and help us guess which artist it is. Yes, I guess which artist is it while reading it. So please help us a lot while guessing in the comments. Okay. Yes. So shall we take a look at the first artist information? Let's do music, music start. start. He is the leader of a four-member boy group. He is one of the leading acting idol. Uh, he received a lot of love for his realistic acting, especially his acting of eating chicken in 2013. Remain a legendary mukbang until now. Interesting.、Hmm. He's a likable impression with distinct features and neatness. So he is often called an idol that parents like and an idol that the boss likes as well. He was the first idol to be nick. Uh, named、uh, Nam Chil Tul boyfriend material idol. A video of him calling from the airport at the beginning of his debut became a hot topic, and fans who saw it began to call him Nam Chin Tul. Interesting. He has a, his own signature pose while taking pictures. It's a pose that opens his mouth while slightly bending his upper body and showing his palms. He doesn't take pictures with that pose these days, but sometimes all the team members take pictures with that pose together. <laughs> he really loves soccer and he is good at it. He has played soccer since he was young and prepared inter college for physical educa- education before his debut. He is one of the best soccer player among Korean celebrities. Oh, and he currently active in the celebrity soccer team. Oh, I don't know what this could、hmm. be. Unlike his masculine appearance, he has a cute charm with a lot of ego. His fans also call him a golden retriever. Oh, surprisingly, he can't drink. He said that even if he drinks just one glass, his whole face turns red. He has been uploading photos on Instagram every Monday since 2021. He realized how hard and hateful Monday is in the military, so、mm-hmm. he started uploading every Monday, hoping to cheer people up. Oh, he celebrated 14, 14 years of his debut about a month ago, and his group made a comeback with their fourth mini album on November. Is it one of Shiny? Four member boy group though.、It's、yeah, Shiny. Shiny. Oh, really? Four member Shiny. Well. Shiny was five members. I don't members. really know at all. And he said, he said, like his face turned red. I think it's one of Shiny members. Um, or is it、uh, Big Bang? I don't know at all, actually. Shall we? Okay, let's just、see. try and open this up、I、and see who it might be. I hope we it's have any one of the guesses.、Members. There's no guesses. No, I don't think we know anyone. I don't know I this one. I forgot his name. Highlight. Highlight. Oh, highlight maybe because、Minu? they used to be from Beast. Because I think it's Minu. Because, yeah, shiny from Minu because he he can't drink and he's good at soccer. All right. Let's see. I don't know. Okay, let's see. Be... Oh, Yundu highlight. Oh, highlight. They were right. Highlight.、Wow. I was about to guess that too. Interesting.、Oh, okay, so yeah. Yeah, highlight was originally Beast, so they debuted、mm-hmm. a long time ago, and then they said, "Ah,、oh, that's so interesting." Okay, I was、wow. confused when he when like here he celebrated 14 years of his debut. Yeah,、so、that means they've been around for a while. Shiny also like okay, fit 14, 15. Uh-uh. But it's been a while. It's、definitely. been a while. It's been a while. It's wow, been a while. that's so amazing! Good job for guessing that. I could not、yeah. have. I had no idea. I was so lost. <laughs> I was so lost too. Like, but after that, I was like, I, I, okay, shiny. Yeah, shiny. All right. Okay. So、uh, I think we have one more that we're going to try as well and see if we can guess this one. Hopefully, a little better than we guessed last time. I know.、All、so、right. let's guess it and music, music start. start. She is the main vocalist of a five-member gr- girl group. 
She's famous for her warm voice tone and high notes. It is said to have the widest vocal range among female idols. She was born in Busan and speaks with Busan dialect. She made her first drama debut with a character using Busan dialect and received a lot of love from viewers. Oh my god. She's a multiplayer. She is doing her best in all fields, including singing, drama, musicals, radio DJs, and as a YouTuber. Oh my god, okay. Her acting skills are great, but she's actually very bad at lying. She says that when she lies, her fa like facial expression is really revealed and easily caught. One day she was playing mafia game with members and told them honestly that she was the mafia. <laughs> Her personality is very attractive. She is easygoing, witty, funny, and very friendly. She always carries a bandage and medicine in her bag and takes good care of people around her. Okay, she's a representative of puppy face in a K-pop scene. Her smile with eyes highlight her cute charm, making fans fall in love. Oh my god, wait. Why do you think you might know who it is? She's I think I know. She's very good at everything with her hands and enjoys various hobbies such as knitting, cooking, painting, and makeup. She recently became more popular for her re realistic acting in a drama, Sulkuntu Shiyoda, Work Later, Drink Now. And she will release her solo album tomorrow on November 11th. Hmm. Oh my god. I'm Me, confused. I don't want to say name. Of I'm a confused. Five member girl group. I know. Oh my god. That is so interesting. Um, oh my god. Oh my god. Let's see. Do we have any guesses? You, yeah, guys. Hetty like, from Girls' Day. Um, is it Harry? I don't think so. Yeah, me too. Like I don't. Pusan. That's why she's born in Pusan. Has dialect. Oh my god! Because I know a member like, but I don't remember her name. I know like she she's from Busan. Interesting. Okay, Shall we just open let's, up? Let's just open it. Sanhua. I don't know. All right, let's go. Blah blah. Jung Eun Ji from A Pink. It. I know it. It Jung was Eun Ji from A Pink. Because my fans keep saying that I look like her. Oh really? W like six years ago, my fans said that when I smile and my eyes like closed, mm -hmm. I look like Eun Ji. Ah. And my my face, my face, like well, I don't know, my lips. Yeah. My lips, like uh, how they are, like looks like her. I'm sorry. She's she's ve very beautiful than me, but my fans said oh, that I, I look see. like her. Yes, I know it, Inji, and she's good at. Uh, she's definitely a singer. Uh, like a dialect, mm -hmm. and also I like saw her in a drama mm -hmm. uh, in Reply 1994 or 1994, I think, mm -hmm. or 1998, and it was so good. Yes, it was so. That good. is so interesting. So we did not do a very good job of guessing our K-pop artists today. <laughs> today. <laughs> yeah, I but know. But hopefully we can do better next week. I know. So we have all of the answers. So we had. Um, highlight and then also a pink artist. So. Yeah, I love like Angie. Like she's she's really good at acting and mm -hmm. singing. And uh, there was a drama also. I watched it. Like I don't remember the name of the drama. Like like she was poor and mm -hmm. like she was living with her little brother. I yeah, think. and she couldn't have afford like uh like you know to leave and everything. So when she would go to the bathroom, she always kept si saying to her brother, "Yeah." Use mm. one paper of the toilet paper. <laughs> one paper, I'm use dead. it. We that need to save so our funny. money. Like, it was so funny. And, like, she's good at acting, though. Like, she's good. That's really good. I mean, there's so many multi-talented artists out there. So hopefully yeah. you guys had as much fun guessing as we did. And if you're enjoying listening, then we're going to listen to another song and come back and read your messages. If you have any questions about K-pop, please send them all in. And I'm curious about the K-pop that you've experienced and all the stories that you have. So please send us anything related to K-pop that you want to talk about. Click on the banner that says Radio and Us, and that will take you to our homepage where you can leave your messages. So we have here the first message from uh, D.O.B. and I think it's a, just an ID. Hello, Denise and Miso. Nice to meet you. Today's topic is solo singer. I think solo artists show is a different charm than when they do group activities. Artists are so cool when they are in a group, but there's another cool when they are solo. I think their in individual colors are getting darker. 
That's why I like every aspect of them. Yes, yes I think so too. Right. Like every solo artist comes out and they show a different side of what they, they don't really, really get to show. They really want to do mm-hmm. because when they do a group activities, they you need to follow to. all the group rules. But when he's on a solo, he really he's gonna he gonna do like what he wants, mm-hmm. what kind of color of music he wants to release. Are you talking about Hobie right now? Because you keep saying he. <laughs> Are you talking about Hobie. Oh. <laughs> She's because she keeps looking. I'm like, are you talking about J Hope? <laughs> oh. She's like, oh yes, but yes oh. for sure. Next we have Miles who says, "Hello, Denise and Kim Miso. I missed you, Kim Miso, from the last week, but it's Aww, good to be back on the you. show. I have some good news for you because I saw one of the other concerts will also be on today. Firstly, one of our favorite rookie groups from this year, La Seraphim, is visiting After School Club, but I hope mm-hmm. everyone is having a fun time enjoying with these very cute MCs and also our La Seraphim members." Lastly, one of our favorite artists, because of Dive Studios, like Denise is wearing, Eric Nam is having a concert here in the Philippines today, or oh. is happening now. But I hope everyone our Philippines fans are enjoying a lot of his songs, uh, because we do him a lot in karaoke, and we watch performances of him. So dreams do come true. Yes. Have a great and safe Thursday and week, Denise and Kim Mizo. Love and listening from the Philippines. Thank oh, you so much, thank Miles. Thank you so much, Miles. I hope you, if you went to the... If you're going to the Eric Nam concert, I hope you have a lot of fun. If you're not, then I hope you can watch a lot of videos and feel that you basically went otherwise. And I think it's really cool that La Seraphim was on After School Club. I have a friend who actually hosts After School Club, so I think that's really fun and cool. Yeah, I know. That's really right. cool, like, to, what, like mm-hmm. he said. Yeah, dreams come true. They do come true. They do come true. Just right. work hard for them. Okay? Yes, and buy lots Just, of concert tickets. I know. <laughs> So we have Denise, <laughs> Denise girl. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. So hi, DJ Denise and me. So I love Jamie. I love her voice. And I'm so vibing every time I'm listening to her songs. Fire. I love Jamie. Jamie is a wonderful <laughs> friend and just overall artist. I saw her perform live actually recently um, mm-hmm. because she released her um, EP or like mini album, yeah. which is one called One Bad Night. And it was so good seeing her perform live. She is so oh. phenomenal and crazy talented. So I really, really loved seeing her and being able to um, feel that presence. It's like dreams do come true. I love right. seeing my yeah. friends perform. That's really cool. You will see me performing too. Yes! <laughs> that was so fun. Uh-huh. Next we have 0 underscore 00N88 who says, Hello, Denise and Miso. There was a ticketing for the boys concert today. I was lucky enough to go to the concert. Yay! We just have to wait for the concert. My heart is pounding. I'm so happy to see the performance of my favorite artist. Oh, the that's, boys? So, like, that's so cool. Mm. I know your feeling girl i know your feeling yes she went i know <laughs> you guys didn't know she saw bts recently in Busan, and that was that was that was crazy mm-hmm. that was dope and i also had to see like uh the song that i have never seen their their performing it and finally i saw it there like it was amazing yes yeah we have the next message hi dj denise and miso today's topic is solo artist i like pekyon i like him too mm-hmm. he has a, such a nice voice and he danced so well the perfect uh, sculpture seems to be moving and i can't to see his performance he's in the army now you you oh mm. i yeah. know even my bts would go to the army don't make her sad guys i know she knows <laughs> oh um whenever um i think it's really interesting because the fans and still wait for a lot of the artists after yeah, they come I back know, from the army which is something that I'm sure you're going to wait for your artists as I'm well. I'm going to wait for them forever especially my husband. Exactly. <laughs> it's better to wait until he's after <laughs> do, I know. done with his services. <laughs> but I think that's really fun and interesting. Oh we have one more message and it says EX E-L-O-X-I underscore six. Hello, Denise and Miso. Do you know that you can see concerts in theaters these days? Oh. BTS and Seventeen did it. They also show concerts as they did in the past and broadcast them in real time. I think this K-pop culture is so fascinating. Is there a performance that you guys want to see at the movie theater? Do we know what you want to see at the movie theater? Mm. If you were going to see... Well, BTS already did it, but then of if course, you, I would yeah. love to see BTS, of course, and after that, Jesse. Uh, I would love to see Jesse perform in there. Like, I'm gonna be like, go my girl, yeah, go my girl, go Jesse. Uh, like, I'm gonna be like vibing for with yeah. her. Like, I think it's um, I I think it's really interesting that you can see concerts in theaters these days. Have you been to one? No, I haven't seen a concert in theater before, mm-hmm. but I would love to see. I would yeah. love to see it too. I've Did seen concert see movies before, like oh. One Direction and things like that way back oh. when. Um, but I didn't know K-pop um, 
artists were doing it now as well. I think mm. that's really interesting. So um, if I could see one, I think I would be like, I would just love to see probably like Chunga or Sunmi. Sunmi, okay. I think that would be really fun. Okay, that's All right. great. So sadly, it is already time for us to Aww. say goodbye. So thank you so much for joining us here we on talked Radio about a lot and of stuff us. Today. Yeah, we I did know. talk about a lot. We talked about um, all of these like solo artists. Yeah, and also this amazing artist. Couldn't yeah. guess our um, our game, <laughs> but anyways, it's fine. It's fine. it is. We're gonna be listening to our last song for the night and say goodbye. So we'll see you next week. This is see Call Me a Freak week. by Suho. Bye. Bye.